This video is sponsored by NVIDIA in partnership with Puget Systems. Okay, whew. I think this is probably the biggest unboxing that I've done on the channel. So in here is my latest video editing machine. It was custom built by the folks over at Puget Systems. Now, the current computer that I'm using right now, which I've been using for over four years, was also custom built by these folks. So the reason I'm upgrading, even though technically I don't really need to upgrade, is because I've been using a lot of these laptops that have incredible hardware and the performance have just been insane. So I thought to myself, you know what? If we can get this kind of power on a laptop, I think it's time to upgrade. So I'm gonna tell you guys what components we picked, the whole ordering process from start to finish and what you can expect. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get inside this box. Okay, there we go. Nice. I think the biggest thing about building a computer on your own or even buying one that's pre-built is trying to figure out what components are going to work best for your workflow. So for example, with Puget, and by the way, I wanna preface by saying they're not paying me to say any of this. This has just been our experience. You get on a call with them. We got on a Zoom call and we explained to them what it is that we're trying to achieve. What type of projects are we working on? What type of resolution? cameras, codecs, all of this information is crucial because they've done extensive testing. They've built tons of different computers. Not only that, when we send over our projects, they are testing our projects to see what configuration works the best. I really like that about them because I don't have the time to test out every motherboard, what processor works best with what motherboard, what graphics card works best with this processor and different types of configurations. So they do all of that. So after our Zoom call, what ended up happening is they got on the phone with us a couple days later and they said, basically this is the build that's going to work best. And because we sent them projects, they did all the testing for us and this is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open, show you our setup. And yeah, this thing is nice. Not bougie like you would expect because for them it's all about performance and reliability. So there's no RGB lights or any of that, but I'll tell you what, based on my other build that they did, it is crazy silent and I would expect this to be the same. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. I gotta say, this thing looks beautiful. So let's talk about the components that were implemented in this build. Starting off with the motherboard. This is an Asus Strix. It's a Republic of Gamers motherboard, ROG. Model number TRX40XE. Basically it has a ton of USB ports, including Type-C. It is really great motherboard, but more importantly, it is chosen because of the processor that they selected, which is the AMD Threadripper 3970X. This is a 32 core processor. It is a beast and will handle pretty much our whole entire workflow. We're gonna be dealing a lot with 8K and 12K footage in 2021. In fact, the camera that you're seeing over here, which is the B-cam, that is an EOS R5 that records an 8K. And I'm gonna tell you that raw file, that footage will punish your computer. So this is gonna help tremendously. This motherboard also supports up to 256 gigs of RAM, which we actually did max out. And again, we wanna future-proof ourselves. So the last computer that they built, uh, it went up to 120 gigs of RAM, which was perfect. But at the time now, we are actually utilizing most of that because we're either doing DaVinci, Premiere Pro, After Effects, all being ran at the same time. So that's gonna be something that we, again, wanna be able to future-proof. Now we do all of our video editing using a server, so internal storage wasn't too important for us. So inside we just have two terabytes of storage, which is fine because again, all of our video editing is done using a server. So 10 gigabit E was very important, so they added that into the motherboard. Now in terms of graphics performance, we pretty much went with the best, which is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 GPU. This has 24 gigs of VRAM. When you're editing 12K footage, I'm telling you right now, especially in DaVinci Resolve, I've had it where I'm editing 12K footage and it tells me I just don't have enough RAM. This is going to help out a lot. Now you can see the quality built here, like they just don't throw everything together. And here you go, thank you. This isn't just like some shop just putting these components together. There's a lot of custom fabricated parts that go into a build like this. Like for example, on the CPU, they actually have custom fabrication, custom bracketry that they put together to not stress out the motherboard. Like this fan, the CPU um, setup here is very heavy. Same thing with the GPU. They have this custom bracket to help 
take off that load from the CPU. So a lot of these things are custom built. Also, look at the workmanship, like the attention to detail in regards to like the cable management. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It even has the person who built it, John D. John D, thank you very much. You did a freaking good job. So anyway, guys, I wanna put something together. So I want you guys to send me a project preferably in Premiere Pro that you are working on or you've worked on in the past, run a render test on your computer. Let me know what the time is. Put it on a Dropbox, send it over. We can benchmark it. I think that would be a fun video. Kind of show you guys what a really beast computer can do in terms of render time. I don't know, I think that would be a fun video. If you guys are interested in that, send me an email at armando at mondobytes. Anyhow, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna do a follow video, let you guys know about the experience. I'm really pumped, can't wait to edit this video on it. So anyhow, let me know if you guys have any questions. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.